Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we're gonna try to complete Tainted Lazarus. Can we get Birthright every single run as this character we're going to learn today? I, for one, hoping the answer is yes, because quite frankly, it does make life so much easier as this character now, and uh, I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate to just be done with this one, because it's... Uh, still a little bit of a stressful situation, usually. Just because of stuff like that. So many explosions. Only got soul hearts as this one. There's just a whole bunch of nastiness going on. And while he is quite strong against flies, as you can see here, the health situation and the uh, item situation can just be a little worrying. Now, then. <laughs> I don't really care about data miner, I'm not going to lie, but... I'll take it. And we'll take this. The box of spiders does seem to be more worthwhile having spiders in general is just kind of nice. Uh, having spiders on the character that deals the most damage is probably even nicer. Not sure if I'm ever going to touch the data miner. It usually is a bad idea, but simultaneously, maybe that's exactly why I should do it, because I never actually bother. So, uh, let's see what's in our shop, just for fun. There it is. <laughs> Well, Birthright is there, but there's no way I'm going to be able to afford it at this, right? Because I don't have any money. Alright, luck down. Uh, shot speed up. Also, my the tears that I'm shooting seem to be... Um, sort of... Um, what, what are they called? The... Um, what am I trying to say? The rainbow poop. Not rainbow poop. The fruitcake ones? Yeah, that sounds right. I'm gonna see if I can shoot another exploding tear at this wall to see if it is a secret room. Uh, because we don't need to go particularly quick this run, we just need to go to the lamb. And I have no bombs, so if this does work, which I for one didn't know that Data Miner did this, it also makes your music something. Certainly makes the music sound interesting. Okay, I don't think that's the secret room. Now we're going to shoot this wall for a while. <laughs> I really don't have much of a choice here. The downside is I don't really have much going on. Uh, and I'd really like to get birthright. So if we can somehow afford it, that'd be great. I also like my hairstyle right now. I guess kind of looks like I got a beard thing going on. Which is the exciting thing about uh, Data Miner. I think... I feel like if you use it often enough, it's just always going to be terrible. But there's... Like, a very technically kind of chance that you get some sort of underflow where your tier 8 becomes ultra maxed out and you just start destroying everything. But, not exactly expecting that to work out the, that way this time around for some reason. I have... I have a golden heart. And that is... that is money. And if we can get a bomb, which we got right there, then maybe if we lose the golden heart, uh, we can afford birthright, but we'd also need to be able to flip once. And if we don't get at least two more rooms, then that dream's kind of dead as well. Uh, okay, and we have one room with enemies and one with a boss. So we can use flip. We got another bomb. I'm going to use data miner again because I think it would be funny. More... Yeah, this is pretty horrendous. The music really becomes bad. <laughs> oh my god. It messes up way more graphics than I thought it did. <laughs> oh, that is great. I actually really like that. But Ooh, we dropped money. Oh god, the music is so terrible, but it's fine. I just need to lose that heart. God, it messes up way more than I thought it did. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it looks absolutely ridiculous. I love it. I actually <laughs> really like it. <laughs> Alright, let's take that. Uh, I'm gonna go in here. I was hoping for something to be in there, but there wasn't. Uh, I'm gonna take... Mm, I'm gonna take the monkey paw on this one. Am I? No, I'm gonna take the monkey paw on the other one, I think. I'm going to take the soul heart with this one. Stick with me for a minute here. We're, we're about to be using some 
perhaps unusual strategies. Um, we're gonna do this. Since we got two bombs anyway, that's another coin. We need to get five coins from the donation machine. The odds of that are pretty good. That's not a donation machine, that's a reroll machine. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Okay. Well, that was uh, arguably a mistake. I just, for some reason, in my mind, I was like, yeah, that's a donation machine. <laughs> Oh no, well then, um, right, was there still a flame here? I destroyed it. There is a flame in this room though, and what we can do with that is we're gonna flip, which may seem a bit a little expensive at this point, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna use that trinket, we're gonna go all the way back to that one boss room, the speed down of the data miner is uh, certainly there. I can't believe I rerolled Birthright, but you know, <laughs> got to make life exciting somehow, and that's a way to do it. Right. Um, yeah, I probably didn't need to walk all the way back. I wasn't sure if this was half a heart or a full heart. Unfortunately, it was a uh, full heart. This is a half a heart that would would have gone a little bit quicker. But we're playing this uh, nice and slow and casually and fun because uh, it's just the way things are going to be for now. i walk into that and we're going to just grab one more red heart. Turn that into a black heart as well. And then we'll have an okay health situation going on with this character and that is quite nice. The moment you get to half a heart with the monkey paw, you get a black heart for it and that does have its uses. We're just gonna keep going. Three black hearts on this character, three soul hearts on the other one. In terms of protection, we're doing pretty good. Um, I kinda... Did not enter the item room? No. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a good run, I can feel it. <laughs> good. God. Wait, no, I did enter the item room. Did I do you get that much planetarium chance for just the trinket? Wow, that's actually really good. That's very surprising, actually, but fair enough. 25%? Really? That doesn't seem right. Because I'd be at one. Uh, you there. Drop this on the floor for a moment. Plus 24%? Really? That's really good. I did not know it did that much. Hmm. That kind of makes me want to skip this item room. <laughs> oh god, that's actually so many. I somehow just forgot that I have a box of spiders that I'm just constantly using, uh, but is in fact very much from an item room. Uh, I'll come back for that. I'm not sure who I want that on. Uh. Alright, damage done, but luck up, so... Again, not great. But we might have a chance of going into a secret room here. It's gonna take a minute. Uh, oh, I really don't like what it does with the music. It actually hurts more than I would have expected. Like, the music is really good in this game. And hearing it do this is fairly unpleasant. It kind of reminds me of really old, ver like, MP3s. Because you'd have some MP3s that would have, like, this really bad compression kind of thing going on. Ah, oh, god. Right. Do we still get the rainbow? Or the... Yeah, the fruitcake effect right now. I don't think so. The, the sprites are still what they are. Ugh. I actually wouldn't mind using data miner here, because I wouldn't mind getting that chest right there. Should I skip one item room? I'm really not sure what to do about that situation. I got two bombs, so I could also just bomb my way there. I probably really should stop using data miner because my my damage went to two went to two point five and that's not a place where you really want to be. That's my omega. I don't know what's behind it actually. Uh, oh, omega is really good. It's probably better than data miner, but is it though? Is it really better than the best item in the game, data miner? <laughs> Yes, the answer to that is most certainly yes, but... Uh, 
at the same time. What if I get a damage up next time, you know? There we go. Damage up, tier rate down. Oh, this is gonna take years, but... I would argue that this is a very worthwhile way to spend a year. If I destroy that rock... Is this the worst video I've ever made? <laughs> we're, we're 10 minutes in, and quite frankly... This might actually be the worst thing I've ever done. I, I it took me a second to really realize this, but good God, I I've reached a point that I don't think I've ever thought I would do with a run. <laughs> and and honestly, data miner did help. I didn't know data miner would give you the the rainbow poop effect. And honestly, that lesson learned is an exciting new experience, but. I also don't even remember picking up the virus, but fair enough, I guess. Maybe I'm just falling apart this video. I don't know. Let's just keep going. This uh, low damage, low tier 8 run is pretty feeling pretty good, though. I'm not gonna lie. What am I saving Flip for? Because I don't really want Devil Deals. Eh. Eh, I have my reasons, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. This is a little precarious, but I have a bomb. I could just use a bomb, actually. Surprised that creep didn't hurt me there. That was a good use of a bomb. I'm sort of impressed by how terribly that was placed, but I mean, he did just sort of walk around it. Okay. So this is not great. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I did that. Um, should I go for devil deals? I don't know. I mean, we're going to the lamb, so we can do pretty much whatever we want. I don't have that much health, is the thing. But it would be kind of funny. There's no items here. That makes it a little bit less funny, I'm not gonna lie. I am not quite as entertained. Although, I guess... It does mean uh, that this might be the end of Data Miner. Which does hurt. It's a, it's a powerful force, to say the least, but... Ah... Uh. <laughs> It's really not. It's not a great time, but at the same time, it's something new. It's something that I haven't really experienced before, and that's got to count for something. Alright, damage up, luck down. That's actually not too terrible as far as uh, stats up and down go. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the item room, I think. I actually don't hate Eve's Mascara, especially with the high damage we already have. I'm gonna... Hmm, I'm gonna destroy some pots with this, I think. I have said goodbye to Data Miner. I hope everyone else did as well. Yeah, that does actually work fairly significantly well. May yeah, maybe I should just go for good items instead of bad ones. It's it's a weird strat, if you ask me, but maybe I shouldn't just take bad things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it sounds pretty far-fetched, but I'm willing to give it a try for sure. Let's just get this as well. Am I going to put all my damage on one character? Don't have a choice. My other character is inaccessible. <laughs> 15 damage on basement 2. <laughs> Pretty bad tier eight, admittedly, and it's only on one character out of the two, and my other character has only the virus. But... <laughs> yeah, it's certainly something, isn't it? Oh god. 25% chance of a planetarium for probably the remainder of this run. As long as I hit. Also, these spiders are just gonna destroy everything. Eternal heart being useful. I'll take this. Maybe I should have looked for an item room or something first, but I made my choice. Data Miner actually put me in a kind of interesting position because it put my damage at 4.5 rather than uh, 3.5, which is the default of this character. So it put me in a state where while my tier rate is rough uh, right now, that's fixable at least usually, it, it does, it are pretty damaging shots. So as long as I can actually hit, it's not too bad. I might actually want that so hard on the other character. I think this one's gonna be okay somehow. I also don't know why I'm taking red chest in the middle of a fight in a challenge room, because if if that did teleport me to the double deal, then I would once again have to consider whether or not I'd want to do that again. 
Having said that, if I open it now, and it does teleport me, then I'd just be able to pick up the heart and leave, but we wouldn't get the drop. Yeah, we got an extra red heart from that. And some spiders. I uh, picked up the soul heart with the character I said I wasn't going to pick it up with, so... Yeah, that, that seems about on point with the rest of this run. <laughs> the strat is, you reroll birthright, and then you just only make mistakes from that point on, and just sort of see where it gets you. That should get rid of most mushrooms, I think. If not all of them. Yeah, all of them. Um, I think I'll take all the pills on my character that just has a terrible time. The one with the, this, the random stat ups and downs, just to make life a little bit more interesting for him. Ooh, planetarium, nice. Look at that. You don't need to skip an item room, you just need to get a trinket. And then be lucky. I don't know if you can flip in a planetarium, actually. We're gonna find out now, because this character is definitely gonna get whatever's in there. You can flip. Pluto, and on the other side, there's also an item. This is Terra's up, though, and this character needs it. Oh, the other one's Terra, it actually tells you. Oh, God, Terra? Oh. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really strong, though. Look at these rocks, they look amazing. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Okay, yeah, we're going with this. My God, I am just throwing boulders. <laughs> <laughs> this is caves one. We, we're barely in the run right now and we are... Oh, we're having a good time. Oh, this is good. This is the kind of tainted Lazarus run I wanted. At least it's a run that doesn't have um, birthright, which, quite frankly, we did keep getting somehow. It was kind of incredible. Uh, that... What's that behind there? Astral Projection. Hmm. I wouldn't hate having that on this one, actually. I'm also just gonna... Scoot that over there. I'm just gonna grab that. I don't... Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having Astral Projection on this one. Let's see if we can get that. We still have an item room. If there's a battery somewhere, that'd be lovely. Definitely checking out the shop with this amount of money. Yeah, this tier rate's alright now, actually. This is not bad. It's actually pretty alright on both fronts. The fact that we actually kind of made that work out is pretty great. Terra is able to destroy rocks as well, which is just going to save on bombs, but also you can destroy entrances to secret rooms. And that's lovely. That is really nice. But also in a situation like this, I can just go there. Admittedly, I could just use the black hole, and I think I'm actually a little bit more tempted. Another I can see forever pill. Mostly because this character's tier rate is pretty horrible. And I guess in that regard, maybe I should have taken Terra on the other one, but... Eh. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta just believe in yourself. You know? Yeah, I'll take that on you. You could use this soul heart. The luck probably doesn't hurt either. Oh god. And I'm happy that this character is very tiny right now. Because it does make dodging a little bit easier. I think you can sort of sort of crawl in between rocks occasionally as well and uh, get to certain places you otherwise wouldn't be able to go. I think you can, if you also manage to get Mars, you can do some real weird shenanigans as well, but that's like a story for another time kind of shenanigan read that we're probably never going to see in a video. Tiny Planet and D4, that's, yeah, okay. No. Judas's tongue actually isn't too terrible. That's also pretty good. Um, I forget what the, what the other character actually has for a trinket, but I probably want Judas' tongue on him. Just because you... Well, I was gonna say he has more red heart, but that, that's barely even true at this point. I could heal up that one missing red heart. I probably won't bother, though. Um, I will save Flip for... The boss, I think. Let's just see if there is... Something over here. Blowing hourglass. And deep pockets, deep pockets. Oh, God. Everything I'm finding is great. I mean, glowing hourglass is good, but I don't really, I just don't care. Uh, I just want some cool stuff. This is a cool stuff kind of run. Also, this character has tonsils, which 
it's fine, uh, but I think I am going to go for Judas's tongue and see if we can do something with devil deals. I'm a little tempted to buy magic fingers and then flipping after switching characters to get deep pockets on this character as well and then just... Because that would be really strong, but I never really take the black hole. I also never really take magic fingers, I guess. Yeah, there's a point. Hmm. Because magic fingers is really good. Although, having magic fingers on my other character is lovely. That would actually be a good time. Yeah. So, uh, what we're going to do. So we're just going to... I think you're just gonna buy this. I'm gonna flip into you. And then uh, just destroy magic fingers because again, my brain does not work the way, <laughs> the way the way I currently need it to. I'm making weird choices. For some reason I was like, yeah, I can just flip and then leave the room and because I switched it with an active item, it works out. But I bought deep pockets and not magic fingers. And I think I need a nap after this uh, this run. I think that's more or less the, uh, the summary. Tears down, good. Oop. Range up. Pretty fly, and I can see forever. If we can get Virgo, then these tears become pretty good. My tier eight has once again gone back to not being wonderful. If we can get the bad PhD, that would also be pretty okay, all things considered, because. Why not at this point? This is a pretty good character to fight bosses with. I do not have flip charge. And that is a angel room. Uh, I can get one more charge. Uh, Glyph of balance, unfortunately. Uh, not gonna happen. But I'll take scapular, I suppose. Um, I don't know what to do here. I could fight the angel. What are we doing? Just lamb? Yeah. We've done everything else. Ah, let's see if we can get a devil deal. I'm just a little curious at this point. I don't think there's realistically anything more interesting that we can do on this floor. Unless there's an enemy inside here. Yeah, that could work. That would give me an eternal heart on the other character and that would be pretty nice. I don't know how I... S how that would work. Uh... Not so much in the, uh, like, flipping... Oh, because I'd switch characters. Yeah, okay, it makes sense. Don't worry, I'm, I am know what I'm doing. <laughs> I could check the curse room, I guess. Maybe the curse room will have an enemy inside, then I can switch between characters. I guess one thing I could have done is not do that at the very end. And then I could have gotten Glyph of Balance, and that would have worked out a little bit better overall, but... Simultaneously, I'm getting the kind of build where I don't really need to worry about my decisions as much, so... Overall, I'm not really too bothered, I suppose, but... At some point in this run, <laughs> I need to, like, <laughs> stop making poor decisions. It should happen at some point. There we go. Fair enough. Unidentified pills. Speed down. All right. Yeah, I could really go with that bad PhD right now because that would give me a pretty significant damage up on this character with the amount of terrible pills this character has picked up so far. Kind of a shame. Um, but yeah, if we can get that, that, that certainly makes devil deals a little bit more tempting, especially with me having a million red hearts right now. Uh, it would give me a decent damage up. I wouldn't mind getting all my stats back, but... Again, it, there's been a lot of poor decision-making that le led to this moment, and truthfully, I only have myself to blame, so... Hopefully, we can stop blaming ourselves from this floor on. At least we have I Can See Forever still. We don't have a map. Which I'm not loving, but we do have that. Which does make some rooms a little bit easier. That's a little unfortunate, and a result that I had not anticipated. <laughs> I didn't actually know that would happen, but yeah, fair enough. That, it doesn't, like, it's not super surprising or anything, but I am still surprised by it. Surprisingly so. Yeah, this character could use some movement speed. 
I am gonna go back to that room in a second with my Terra character because I couldn't I could use the money I think Because I have deep pockets and that's really obviously a way where you don't get much money in during the entire run I can I could use a little bit more Just a little bit There we are Tears up Lock up, not tears up Tears up is the thing I want Whoops We are not currently immune to poison Probably shouldn't be doing that kind of thing. Shouldn't it destroy every single rock I come across and hope for a crawl space? Maybe. I feel like this is probably going to be the right direction because of the big room, so I'm going to just explore in a different direction where there's also a big room. But I will say I'm happy to be doing this big room with this character and not with the one that is going to take several shots to kill one of these enemies, so... Can't really complain too much, I suppose. Is... Terra immune to the counter mag magnet enemies, however one would describe that, because it seemed to just go through the whole magnetizing effect there. Which I can appreciate, because that is a fairly annoying thing. Does this work? Well, kinda. It makes the tears go in that direction at least, so that's good. I'm learning a lot about Black Hole, because it's one of those items I never really take, so... I'm actually learning a thing or two about this whole active item thing. Magic Fingers would have been so good. <laughs> like, it's a 19 damage Magic Fingers. That would destroy most rooms in two hits. Uh, so, that would obviously be a rather nice boon for a build. Unfortunately, someone someone made it disappear. I don't know who, but... Phew, not a fan of that one. Simultaneously, having Birthright with one character dealing 19 damage would also speed up things a little bit. But instead... We're gonna do the best we have with the tools we have available, which, surprisingly enough, is still working out even with the decisions made today. So I'm not overly bothered at the end of the day. Having said that, a little bit of tier 8 would do wonders. <laughs> Just a, a little bit. Also, this floor is filled to the brim with big rooms and I don't have a map, so that's not great. It's not ideal, is it? Go over there. There we are. Very effective way to deal with your problems. Black holes, as it turns out. Also, an entire room filled with spiders is a fairly effective thing. I hadn't actually seen the effect of... Uh, yeah. Also, apparently the pretty fly flies can insta-destroy certain fly enemies, which is why that zappy fly suddenly died even though I seemingly didn't attack it. It does just die on occasion. What was my last pill? Health up. Yeah, all right. Health up. I'll take Health that, both of that. I could probably use having red heart containers on either character if we're somewhat going for devil deals. Sort of incredible as well that the one mushroom I was standing right next to as it exploded was a bad one. <laughs> Uh, that's the way it is, isn't it? Should've looked for a shopkeeper. Ultimately doesn't matter that much, though. Uh, you can get the soul heart. I kind of want PJs on the other character because I think that's just going to heal him up a lot. Because I did pick up a lot of red heart containers with that character just now and... I don't really want to run around to heal. So I'd rather avoid it if I can. There we go. Easy peasy. I'll come back for you. We haven't found our shop or item room, I'm fairly sure. Look at that. That is a nice quantity of health on this statue person. Things are looking pretty good. Somewhere our secret room is as well, and I'm not super sure where. I haven't really listened to the sound of the secret room opening because of our I can see forever pill and well you can just add that up to the list of choices that <laughs> has been made throughout the duration of this run so it adds up it adds up it should probably be somewhere over here though I would assume haven't seen any tinted rocks which is a shame because they would get destroyed fairly quickly oh good Remember that one room that I didn't really want to do with this character because of this whole doesn't kill these enemies in one shot situation and uh, would make it last quite a while. 
Yeah, there it is again. <laughs> there, there it once again shows up, but... It's not like it's a particularly difficult room, it's just that it's a little bit less tedious when these enemies die in one hit. Especially when otherwise they die in seven. Well, we made it through. We got there in the end. I heard a secret room open, I think. Probably in the top left then, I. PhD. <laughs> yeah. I probably should, right? Like I did say, I wouldn't mind having it. Mm, yeah, I guess I should. You're getting tier 8, though. I don't really want to get rid of my box of spiders for this, I'm realizing. But I don't have to, because I just used Pandora's box. My god, I had a thought and completed that thought afterwards. Rather than just throwing the thought away instantly whenever I've, g I've been given the chance. <laughs> Finally, things are looking up. I'm starting to make somewhat okay decisions again. The dream is real. Okay. Uh, I want both of those. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to get both of those. Oh, no. Yeah, it does not seem likely that we're going to get both of those. Sal Jr. is so good. Well, sometimes it is. Either way, we're taking this on this because I'm greedy. Um, and we're going to move on to the next floor. I really don't expect much more than like these two rooms. I'm pretty sure I've explored everything. Turn to pick up some coins into the coin values of the... Blah, 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 blah. That's actually pretty good sometimes. You can turn like a card into five coins and that can be kind of useful sometimes. I'm curious what a golden bomb is worth. Apparently the answer to that is 10 coins. I'll take that. Uh, now I need to remember where the boss room was. So if you have another 17 minutes to spare, which is roughly how long we're going to be wandering around on this floor, I do most appreciate it because uh, it's somewhere down here. Yeah, there it is. That went surprisingly quick. Uh, I was just about to use the black hole on that door to see if it would open, because I'm a little curious, but it's not, I mean, it's not quite like a bomb, but it does blow up a lot of things. That's not really worthwhile. Get over there. Everyone into the pit. It's not a bad item. It's really not a bad item. <laughs> it does clear these rooms out fairly spectacularly. And I very rarely actually get it or use it or have it, so... Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a new experience this time around, isn't it? This character... I, I have two characters. One which is just extremely powerful, and the other one. And I am a little concerned about the other one, but the other one is still holding his ground pretty well, honestly. Uh, this is not the character. Larry, you just sort of exist near a red poop, and before you know it, the enemy's dead. It's great. Exactly what you want to see. How's that not a secret room, though? I, for one, am opposed to this whole that not being a secret room thing, and I don't care for it. This seems a little wasteful to use this particular character on, given the, uh, once again, Worrying damage situation on the two varying sides there, but, you know. At least this room wasn't too bad. Gonna do the long room with this one, though. Don't regret my choice. Like, look at that. <laughs> That's so strong. Oh my god. Was hoping for an item there, though. Is this a teleport? No, it is two troll bombs. Fair enough, I suppose. An item would have been nice, because I'm pretty sure if you get an item in a curse room, you can flip it for the other item as well. And that would have been swell, but fair enough. We can flip the shop at least, so that's good. My movement speed is terrible on both of these characters. I am not loving that. Through no fault of my own, of course. <laughs> Moving box and spider mod. Moving box is fun, but maybe not. Maybe not today. Maybe I'll just get 10 coins from a... 
friend. I'll take you, though. What's my other active item again? I've genuinely forgotten. Box of spiders. Yeah. Hmm. Because moving box can lead to some funny situations. But it does require a little bit more fun. Uh, I'll, that's, let's see if we can make it work. I'm just a little curious at this point. Because if we can get the moving box strat work, for one, it would be the first time in my life that it has actually worked. So that would be an achievement on its own. But also, uh, it's just a funny strategy. If it does work out, it's just grand. I don't particularly need to have all spiders all the time on that character anyway, because everything's pretty much insta-dying all the time. Uh, all the time, really, so not really too concerned. That's tech on the other side there. I should probably take tech on the other character. <laughs> We're gonna go buy that battery. That is just a little bit too good. Admittedly, having tech on the, uh, the Terra character I think would be hilarious, but I think I really need to start getting some items for this for this little friend right here, because he is very small and he needs assistance. But I'm pretty sure that tech would actually make this build pretty okay. So I'm hoping for it. But tech Terra though. If I was any other character and I could get Terra right or te get tech right now, that'd be just the dream come true. You know what? Let's just stop pretending that this character is capable of fighting things very well. Even though it's going okay most days, it is clearly not his main strength. <laughs> but this might help. This at least gives me some range to work with. Shots hit instantly. Shooting diagonally is a little bit more tricky, but... I'm feeling fairly comfortable with the possibilities here, so I'm hoping that this is going to work out. <sighs> I didn't want to spend a key on that. So I figured I'd shoot it a hundred times in the hope that it would suddenly work. It did not. Having some kind of shielding effect would also be kind of nice in this particular situation, but also my health is so good right now. Uh, that actually works. Hematemis is actually pretty good if you are at zero red hearts. <laughs> Come on. Solar Judas, well... Well then. Uh, what are we gonna do here? I kinda... I guess I can just... use the other character afterwards. I'm pretty sure he has a whole bunch of red hearts as well, so... Magician. Magician is actually really nice with tech as well. So that works. Uh, there you go. There is... you know what? No, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna... We're gonna clear one room here. And then just destroy that rainbow poop. I think that's the way to go here. Oh, we can also just lure these into the spikes. That's nice. I genuinely have no idea whether or not there's tinted rocks in this room. My map is covering everything, but... With a tier rate like this, it's hard not to try and destroy every rock in the game, of course. I like how there was enemies in the corner there, and... Genuinely, they just died by me shooting rocks. <laughs> so this uh, is working out. It's working out. It's working out exactly according to plan. What's that? The fool? Uh, friends till the end. Obviously, this character needs that. I'm sort of amazed how many hearts I've given this character. Uh, we're going to see if this ends up working out. That is part of Leviathan, which actually makes it a little bit more interesting. Soul of Judas I'm going to keep on this one. I want to have Magician on the other one because... Uh, homing Zaps is good times. I'm hoping I can recharge this moving box. Because that would be fairly useful. I mean, I should probably have used the Empress card at some point, but I have not. Uh, I'm going to touch this. Just on you, just for fun. I don't particularly need the nail. I think health-wise we're probably fine. How's this run already taken 36 minutes? I have been dilly-dallying more than I had uh, perhaps anticipated. 
but it is fun to dilly dally at times, of course. When one is given a sort of interesting build, one might as well dilly some dallies every now and then. <laughs> All right, yeah, two lucky penny, sure. One jumping friend, and we have to do a boss is not the strongest character in the game, but it's only Loki. You think, you think he can escape a black hole? Don't be absurd. It is very suck. There we go. Who needs a build when you got tech and some bombs? Hey, speed up. That's actually really nice. Should have dropped my trinket though. Didn't. Okay, well, that sucks that I did not act on the thing that I should have done. Um. Okay, uh, <laughs> we're going to take that, we're going to take that, we're going to flip, and we're putting this in the moving box, <laughs> and we're going to put it down on the next floor uh, for our other character. It's kind of a shame about those active items that I left behind. I can use one to quickly heal up half a black heart, which is actually just enough to be interesting, I would say. But we can have Brimstone on the other character now, and that uh, mix with tech is an interesting visual effect. So I will take that. Soul of Judas in hand. I mean, I could charge it a little bit more with the challenge room. I'm not sure if I can enter the challenge room in my current health situation, actually. An interesting problem to have, for sure. Alright, let's keep going. Clear four rooms, use the moving box, switch to the other character, get cool things, have great builds, have great times. It's gonna pretty much be a guaranteed good time. And I, for one, can appreciate that. My tier rate's a little low, which makes me a little worried about Brimstone, but simultaneously, Brimstone is still just quite nice if you have a little bit of damage, and that's exactly what we got with Data Miner 17 years ago when this run started, so it's not all bad. It's starting to it's starting to become something. It's a weird run for sure, but it's working out. I wouldn't mind having demon wings on the other character actually as well, because it would make moving just a little bit nicer, but yeah. It's all good. It's all good. God, just being able to hit enemies. So nice. Alright. Get there. Uh my shadow. I guess I could take my shadow on this character. Why not? Why not? Alright. Great room. Good times. Yeah, my movement speed is bad enough that I cannot actually walk in there. Who did? I think I touched the nail on this character, so this is actually still working out. Sort of according to plan. Also, my brimstone now has cool tech lasers surrounding it. I don't know if that changes its damage at all, but it does look neat. Um, restock is kind of cool. Um, that's also pretty neat. That's that. I don't really care about the other items here. Sharp plug's kind of neat, I suppose. But not like super neat. That's not super interesting. Ladder's kind of fun, but... I'm gonna forget about it as I've done every run with the ladder, so maybe maybe I shouldn't bother. <laughs> maybe ladder is only fun when it's played by an entirely different person who can remember that the ladder is an item that exists, because quite frankly, the moment I stop having the ladder, it leaves my entire sense of being pretty much. Um Yeah, let's just move on. There is mom's leg. Is there anything I want to put in my moving box? Don't think so. I'm sort of... This run is really... odd. I kind of appreciate it for what it is, but I'm having just really weird vibes about the whole thing. <laughs> Can I open this with Terra? Uh, I guess not. Probably have tried that at some point. I don't have Terra that frequently, so I do like to experiment a little bit with it whenever I have it. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, not that. 
Yeah, you, the, it, both characters are just really powerful right now. It's really nice. Can I not also just do this? Yeah, let's go find ourselves an, an item room. I wouldn't mind having Flip available for reroll purposes. Uh, if needed. There is probably a mini boss over there. Given that that door did not open, and I'm fairly sure that's how that works. Wouldn't mind putting things in the moving box either, just to try and make that work out. Uh, charges wise, we're going to be in a bit of a predicament. Um, a worm friend. That's actually not bad. Take that. Worm friend is just neat. It really does make certain things a little bit nicer in general. We got 21 coins, which is not terrible. I'm going to actually get the uh, chest here. It's kind of open for money, but I guess it's nice that we got our health back. And there is indeed a mini boss in this room. He's gonna drop a hand. Not super excited, but you know, it is what it is. Brimstone kills everything. Terra with Eve's mascara kills everything. Life's good. I can Soul of Judas into that curse room for zero damage. I suppose if that had taken me into my devil deal, it would have been a little bit of a sad situation, but... Are those zaps actually destroying rocks sometimes as well? Because that's pretty neat if it does. I need to find some way to relocate my microphone. This is kind of very much a me problem, but somehow I've gotten it in a place where... It's just always slightly in the way. Every 15 shots shoots an Ipecac plus my reflection tear. Okay, well, I'm at least curious to see that. Yeah, no, that does what it says. Yeah, maybe not, though. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's actually pretty good. I guess I might as well take one of these. Um, and let's just... I shouldn't have taken one of those, actually. There was really no point. But I can get this room done. Which is why there wasn't really a point to getting that battery. Ooh, big one. And we can go ahead and take things here. There is a golden key here. Not sure if it's going to be useful at all, but it's there. I should probably be using Terra as much as possible while I'm in the womb to just try and skip through as much of the floor as possible. Since I think that is going to make life a little bit safer in general, I should also just pick up health. I need to remember to take the negative. That is currently my biggest challenge, I think, but I somehow feel confident that we're going to be able to do this. There is no more active items on this floor for as far as I can tell. Uh, Terra does not open these doors. Let's reroll this for just a little bit longer. Because we're probably not going to find a shop to make this work. Uh, Poke Go is fun, but... I want more. Um... Yeah, sure. Uh, I guess uh, um, this is just two uh, bone hearts, right? I think it is. I'll take that. That could be fun. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. This'll, this'll do. This'll do. We can make this work. Let's go and fight a boss. There is a boss. This is going to take a minute. My theory is still not great, I suppose. But whenever that little zappy zap hits, it does seem to hit fairly effectively. So I just need more zaps. There we go. It's not like I'm in particular danger. The nice thing about a lamb run is that it is... I'd argue one of the easier things to do in the game, so you can kind of get away with whatever you want a lot of the time. And I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this run is not an exception to that rule. That is nice. Negative on the character that had lowest damage. And we move on. I'm fairly sure there wasn't a devil deal door there, so we are moving on with grace. Um, no. What card does this character have? Magician. Oh yeah, that's actually a, Hmm, I should remember that. I'm going, I'm going to forget it, but still, I should remember that. Like, look at this. This is nice. Not having to worry about dead ends. 
speeds things up, but if you then accidentally clear room by existing, there is that to consider. You haven't had a brimstone run in so long as well. Like, it's just it's just all niceties right now, and I can appreciate that. Random chest with mom's key gives me a million things, including just a bunch of soul hearts, so don't need to particularly worry about my whole health situation either. But even if I felt like I had to worry, I'm just getting a bunch of health as well. Um, all right, so... Do I have anything in my moving box right now? I'm actually not sure. I don't think so. We could definitely get some stuff here, though. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do this for a minute. One could argue that this is not what you're supposed to do with a beggar, but it is what I'm doing right now. Um, I kind of want to do this, but I need some more red hearts on the floor. So I think let's just put... Mm, we're gonna... Uh, mm, ah. I don't know what I want to do. Soul of the Keeper. A little bit late. Soul of the Keeper. If I had straw, man, this would be pretty good. It would be pretty much a full sacrifice room right there. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for red hearts. Am I finding that by clearing rooms? Yes. Am I finding that by zapping my way through rooms with big electric rocks? Probably not. So let's clear some rooms here and there. But let's also just keep going towards the boss. I guess I don't really need to do exclusively shenanigans, but I'd like, you know, I just want to get this moving box to work once. You know? <laughs> It's the only thing I want. Just want one good moving box run. And it's genuinely so hard to do because you need a restock machine in the secret room or something like that to make it work at all. But there's like justice question mark cards that you could use and obviously that would be a fairly effective way of doing things. It does need to actually exist for that to happen. It's a big mess is what it is. Also, I don't want this run to die, because quite frankly, this run's been going on for at least two days now, and uh, I would appreciate it if the run won at the end of the day. If this run dies, I'm actually genuinely very upset. <laughs> so, let's try not to get that to happen, because that would be unfortunate. I should probably just put some coins in the machine there. there we go. Oh, nice. Do you die eventually? Yeah, there you go. Mmm, that's useful. Very nice. I'm tempted to just play that one machine over there, see if we can get some soul hearts. Get that to work out. Technically, I could get some red hearts by just destroying some of these rocks as well, because certain rocks can drop red hearts. But theoretically, I could also just get a bunch of soul hearts from this. Use those soul hearts. Ugh. Spawn two of four golden chests. That's really nice. I really only need half red hearts as well as the thing. Like, I don't need particularly good red hearts either. We're definitely taking justice to that blam floor, but... Let's just clear some more rooms. Just need to find a handful of red hearts. And I know they exist. There's one already. I don't particularly feel too compelled to keep the bone hearts afterwards, so I'm not really too bothered about losing one of them. But we do need a little bit to get it started. I'm surprised I dodged that, but I am very small. That does help a lot of situations. Alright, you know what? Let's do this. I'm gonna lose... a bone heart. I'm gonna lose... Half a red heart, and maybe lose another bone heart? I haven't really decided yet, if I'm being honest. I was kind of hoping for, hoping for something to drop there, but it didn't. Um, let's move on. I'm looking for rock types that can turn into red hearts, because they, they do exist on these womb floors. But they look very specific, like these ones. There you go. Doesn't need to be a half heart in particular either, just because... Uh, Yes, it doesn't matter, does it? We're gonna take a full heart of damage every time anyway. We're gonna create a whole bunch of friends here. There was something about these little wormy friends as well, related to um, 
somehow consuming them and gaining some powers out of it, but I, honest to God, don't fully recall how all of that worked. I also need to find my secret room. I could actually use a little bit more Devil Deal chance from the destruction of a shopkeeper. I've been looking a little bit, but I haven't found it yet. Hmm. Okay, uh, that's awkward. There we go. There we go. It's a lot of there he goes in a room. Red heart as well. Very nice. Ah, shame. Okay. Um, let's lose that. That's fine. That's a teleportation to an angel room. Yeah, I mean, both of these are just incredible, so we're taking both. Um, I need to kill the boss with this character and leave with the other one. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to just quickly do that. Let's recharge Flip as well for good measure. Then I can take more damage in the sacrifice room, maybe get one more something or another. It's all working out, it's just a lot of thinking required. And in a second we can use our moving box for hopefully two items. I for one am very excited about that. Also, our angel room slash devil deal didn't open. And the reason it was an angel room is because of that sacrifice room as well. It made us feel blessed and that helped us out to get what we wanted, so... Yeah, this is, uh, this is all coming together. 52 minutes, womb. Yeah, there you go, that's a classic Lazarus run. I mean, it's pretty good, but I don't, not really in my current situation. So we got four red hearts currently just in my moving box, <laughs> which I guess is nice. I can take the eternal heart as well. Uh, I am currently the character with the stairway, so I need to leave the floor with this character. So we're not going to do any more remaining rooms, and instead we're just going to move on to the next floor. Then we should get the staircase shop from the get-go. I'm pretty sure I've ch uh, flip charged because of the key. What is that? All oh, right, yeah. Uh, and we're taking both of these. That's a wafer. That is very, very good. That is very, very nice. And I do not mind that at all. Um, once again, hoping for a restock machine in the secret room. Not guaranteed. I would not mind this. Also, he has marble, so it might actually just disappear at some point. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. We got a big old aura around us. The other character is basically a tank. It's it, Things are looking okay. Wafer Brimstone is okay. It is an okay combination of events. Makes me feel like I have a chance. <laughs> oh, this feels disgusting. I just have a justice card, right? Yeah, I do. I used to... That, that little blob survived a Terra shot. With... Uh, with all of that. Like, how? How? How does it have that much health? Genuinely quite surprised by that. Cool. I'm not particularly interested in the curse room, even though I clearly uh, am not in any particular danger about losing health. Because apparently this this run is is just it's just that way. I will once again say, had we gotten birthright uh, 2100 years ago when this run started, then. It would have just been really silly. It would have been a very silly run for sure. But one that I would appreciate nonetheless. This is not what I'm looking for. I could have probably gotten an item from that, but I destroyed him. Uh, so we're not going to get an item from that. Yeah, instead, we just get uh, feelings of guilt. But maybe we'll get something nice from our Angel Room Devil Deal. Uh, we do... I guess we kept our Angel Room chances possibly because of the Book of... I did pick up the Book of Revelations, didn't I? Whatever it's called, the Book of Good Times, the, the Bethany Book. Yeah, I did pick it up. 
And we could go full Bethany by taking this, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go full Bethany on this. Let's have an extra layer of brimstone. I do need to actually use the item, though. This is a big floor, but I guess it is a womb floor. There we go. I could also... Uh, put one more thing in my moving box, I guess, if I really wanted to. But I'm... I'm losing faith in the possibility of finding a restock machine, if I'm being honest, because I'm starting to play pretty darn quickly right now. Uh, pretty much full speed ahead currently, and uh, it does mean it just becomes a lot less likely that we're going to find what we need. And that is a restock machine, so yeah, let's, mm, let's just move on. We have a fully charged flip. We can use the staircase on the next floor, provided I leave with this character. Which shouldn't be too impossible. Certainly not the easiest thing in the world to switch character once, but... If we get an angel room, I could destroy an angel and that'll be good. Otherwise I could just do a room. Which also isn't too bad. But it's certainly further away than an angel room would be. Could do Delirium for fun and just ruin this whole run, but maybe not. Uh, purgatory, what was that? Purgatory, right. It's Purgatory. That's what it is. Um, I'll touch the book. I don't feel, like, super attached to uh, that. Um, but I guess I do need to... F no, I don't want to flip because then I... You know what? We're going to flip, and we're going to do some more rooms. And you know what? Uh, if we're doing more rooms anyway, I'm going to put everything in a moving box and see if I can make it work out. I'm feeling confident. We, I've, I've gotten a whole new gust of wind of energy there to try and get this moving box to work out. And I, for one, am feeling confident presently. I also could actually use a little bit more money, because if we do get an expensive angel room item... We're not gonna find any more. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, but uh, there's no more. There's no more. There is no more. But yeah, if we get an expensive angel room item, it would be good to at least have some money for it, so. Just gonna do that. I'm actually gonna use Shoop the Whoop for once. And get that extra laser. Unfortunately, only shoots lasers with the actual item and not with my regular brimstone attacks. Would be pretty much ridiculous if it did, I suppose, but. That would make it funny. There's some fool's gold. And the more rooms we clear, the more chance that Deep Pockets occasionally gives us some help anyway, so that's pretty good. Anytime I use Shoop the Whoop as well, it's gonna recharge the next time I can actually use the character unless I flip, so that's actually pretty good. It also reduces the odds of me accidentally losing it, which is good. Um, I'm not sure where... And with losing it, I mean the flames, of course, but... Yeah, it, it certainly makes it a lot safer. I don't know where my super secret room is. I've tried a couple places, and there is that one room with the trinket inside that I'm a little tempted to at least try. Not this one, although this one also interesting in its own right. Did I try the right one? I'm not sure if there was rocks here previously, but let's just try it just in case. But yeah, maybe the... There was a trinket there. Do I have Curse of the Maid? No, I don't. What? I'm confused by maps. Apparently that was a tinted rock. <laughs> Genuinely didn't notice it. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, we are currently the character that has a big aura surrounding them. And as such, it's the character with stairway. Staircase. Stairs. And that's whom we're going to use to walk through the correct path <laughs> to go to the, uh, the lamb. Oh, God. What a run. I've not felt quite so, like out of it during a run before, so that's an exciting prospect for sure. I don't really care about the shield if I'm being honest. It's part of Seraphim, I guess. I'm gonna blow you up, though. And then we leave. Um, we could, I guess, destroy Mega Satan during this run as well, just for fun, but... Nah, I wasn't feeling it. Oh no, my, uh, my lasers. Right, I need to actually remember. 
to use items. It's a, it's a complicated setup where one character has to use his active item every single time and the other one uh, doesn't, 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 very much doesn't. And it's confusing to me in a way. Don't care for it. Uh, open that later. Open that when Flip is charged. Watch out for the hands. There was only one that time, that's fine. Briefly check over here for a secret room. Very brief, but very worthwhile. No restock machine in that secret room, then. We are gonna have so many pedestals once we reach the lamb floor as well. Uh, because of that <laughs> upside down justice card. Also, apparently there was no soul heart there, that's cool. I'm trying to think of ways that I could create a restock machine, and really the only one I can think of right now is either a trinket for like a treasure room, which we're not gonna find anymore, or um. No. Yeah, the flame died instantly. Or, yeah, lucky with a secret room. Super secret room might have some. There's a card, of course, that can spawn a restock machine as well. That's all the ways I can think of currently. And I'm also just looking for them super secrets all over the place in the hope that there is some joy to be found there. There might be items waiting for us that we can pick up and put in our moving box. Uh, let's open this now. Yeah, not quite what I wanted. Not quite that, um... That thing I was going for there, surprisingly enough. The thing I was going for was, of course, a teleportation to a devil deal of sorts, but... Fair enough, I suppose. An angel room would have sufficed as well. Instead, we got neither. Also, we have a Celtic cross shield going on there, so that's exciting. Uh, I don't actually remember what my last pill even is. Range up. Good. I need that on my brimstone character. As you understand. It is an obvious choice. It was the correct call. I stand by it. I walk through that brimstone without even the second thought in the world. <laughs> no thoughts whatsoever. Let's just move on. You know what? Maybe, maybe this run is just... It's time for this run to end. <laughs> it's been going on for a while. It's not really doing anything in particular. It just has hopes and prospects for something to happen. And it does have that going for it, which is pretty fun every two rooms. But at the same time, we're only doing the lamb. <laughs> we don't need to try so hard. Uh, if I give you items, then that can lead to me getting good stuff. Another temperance machine. Can I play with both at the same time with one heart? I always forget. Temperance. No, but that does work. I forgot about my hallowed ground situation, but I can place just a bunch of these around. And that actually gives me very good shields against taking damage from these machines. Especially when there's a whole bunch of them in there like that. Oh, look at that. Suddenly have a whole bunch of money. I'm not sure what I want to use it on in particular, but it's probably something. Um, let's take that because it's actually kind of nice not to have to look for it. Uh, let's take you. I'm gonna, just going to blow these up because we've got 60 coins and that's plenty for what we're doing. Probably shouldn't have picked up that red heart, but that's fine. And let's actually use the magician card. Why not? Plus three range, just what we needed. Cool purple laser circling shots, very nice. Shoop the whoop on the scary one. He is dying very quickly. <laughs> I'm sort of surprised how quickly he's dying, in fact, because this seems like... I'm dealing 18 damage with that character. Wait, what did I do again? How am I dealing 18 damage with that character? I mean, I'm not really... Bothered by it, I suppose, but it's just surprising. Eh, fair enough, I guess. I'll take it. Alright, so if we can find our secret room here, that'd be lovely. Uh, you, 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 you. 
not. I mean, this is fun. Uh, it's not one we haven't really used so far. I'm a little curious how that works with Brimstone, actually. So I'm just going to take that on that character. Um, I'm curious if this works. Oh, well, kind of, but not quite how I wanted it to. Um, yeah, this should not have done that there. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's see. I guess if I get sensor on the other character, then I have two really big auras, and that would be kind of fun. That would at least be uh, something. If I touch the Bible on the other one, that's pretty neat. Judgment, I can carry with me. Full card, that's not that much, but sure. We could probably... Well, we could at least get one angel key piece if we really wanted to. Lucky foot, not terrible. Uh, let's take that. I did say, like, if I get that on that character, then I can bloop, 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 but, um, yeah, then I remember it didn't have that choice. Also, we got Bookworm. Occasionally, we're going to have really big lasers as well, so that's working out pretty neat. Um, yeah. Neat. Oh, God. Walked into that by accident, but <laughs> it worked out, I suppose. Let's take this, because I'm curious if this is a lot of brimstone. <laughs> because they're pretty much just shooting my tears right now, and that's just very neat. There is a secret room in that direction. Damage-wise, not overly impressed, but it's working. Didn't mean to hit you with that flame, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm feeling, feeling okay about this. Feeling like things could work out the way I'm intending them to. Since we got holy water now, of course, that, that makes life a little bit safer for sure. God, look at that. 12 damage now. What did I do to make my damage so high? Do I have like lusty blood or something that I have already forgotten about because it was so long ago? There is no restock machine in here, which is unfortunate. And also my holy light or my uh, holy water got stuck on a wall there for a moment. Ay, ay, ay. An absolute mess of a run this is, but it's slowly but surely meandering to the end, so... Can't really complain too much about it. I'll take that on you. Lock up. Very nice. Full card actually is kind of nice to have, in case we get to, like, a really troublesome dead end. Uh, I need to actually use shoot the whoop, of course, mustn't forget. I need to be somewhat careful, because I am getting a little bit weird on health right now. If I can get a dead cat, then that would be kind of nice on the other one, I think. I don't think I have two guppy pieces on any character, but I think I have one on the other one, yeah. It would just be a health up for this character, effectively, so that would be kind of nice. Uh, let's just do that, create an extra one. Create a big old mess of lasers. Regardless of how we're firing now, because of our little friends as well, so that's exciting. Little tricky to keep those flames alive against an enemy that bounces across the room like this, but not impossible. There we are. I should be putting things in my moving box. And the reason I'm not is because I've given up hope. <laughs> I think it's a failed strategy that rarely works, and today is just simply a day where it will not. I don't know how I killed the enemy in the bottom left of that room. But I will happily take that. There we are. Sure. Yes, madam. Do I have that on both characters now, or am I thinking of a whole different run? Truth be told, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm thinking of a different run, because that's pretty much the theme for this whole run, but I'm just... very confused. <laughs> just very lost right now, but it's okay. Well, ultimately we tried somewhat to uh, try and get a moving box strategy going on. I think the strategy can work. Just gonna put some items in here just for fun. It unfortunately was just not the case today. Judgment? Judgment. Uh, maybe not. There is plenty of health in that room, at least, so if we are somehow in danger and after any of these bosses, we have a way to heal up, and that's good. But somehow I'm feeling fairly confident that we're probably going to be okay. 
I guess in a way the a moving box strat is carry a bunch of health ups and then suddenly have a whole bunch of health to be working with at the final boss of the run. And I, I guess I can't really complain too much about that being a strategy. But I can't exactly pretend that that was what I had in mind. Also, Little Chess was in there, which I think I just mistook for Mr. Me or something. Ah, oh, well. Let's go fight the lamb and then call it a day. You are very much not going towards the black hole, or you don't really care about the worm friend, but, you know, it made the tears go in a direction for a while, so that's kind of good, I guess. I have the Celtic Cross shield active, so we're just going to use Bob's curse to our full advantage there. That was, of course, the main item that I was thinking of while <laughs> Celtic Cross activated. Trying to use holy water and failing. There we go. Well then. No. <laughs> I'm going to say that that was certainly a run. It, it, it had a beginning, a middle, and an end. And we got many items. We unlocked Torn Pocket. And we are done with Tainted Lazarus. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I am very out of it, as it turns out. And that's okay, because that'll just be the last run I record today. But that is another Tainted character completed, and somehow it's Lazarus out of all the characters that could have been completed beforehand, all things considered. But yeah, not bad. We're getting, we're getting there. We're genuinely getting there. Slowly but surely. I am not looking forward to Tainted Forgotten Delirium, but that will have to happen at some point. I tried it recently. It was miserable. So I need to find some way to actually <laughs> hit the boss. Maybe Birthright or something. I don't know. We'll find a way, I'm sure. Either way, we're done with another Tainted character and we're making decent progress to completing all of them. And I'm quite happy with that. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll be doing another run with a different character. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.